Jaffa Cavulia is making a difference at the intersection of public and private sectors. He currently leads the capital and development team in the public works department at the city of Hillsboro. Joffrey has over 15 years of experience in strategic planning, project management, sustainability, data analytics, budgeting, and leadership in both public and private sectors. Joffrey holds a doctorate degree in technology and engineering management from George Washington University. Moreover, he holds degrees in public administration from Syracuse University of Southern California and architecture from Carnegie Mellon University. He has published numerous peer review journals and conference papers on smart buildings and sustainability. Joffrey is passionate about community service and has served on various boards, committees, and DEI initiatives. Until June of 2022, he chaired the Public Engagement Committee and served as Vice President on the City of Hillsborough Planning Commission, where he championed land use policies and community development through an equity and livability lens. Previously, Joffrey served as National Sound uh, National Science Foundation STEM Ambassador for underserved K-12 through students in Los Angeles Unified School District. Joffrey served as a member of Carnegie Mellon University Admission Council for several years where he led a diverse student recruitment initiative. As a founding partner at Architecture for Humanity in the Annapolis chapter, Joffrey worked on numerous projects in underserved communities both in the U.S. and abroad. Without further ado, I am proud to announce the 2022 Robert Phillips Award recipient is Joffrey Cavulia. Please, let's give him a standing ovation. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, I don't know what to say, but I want to say that I'm super delighted, honored, and humbled to receive uh, the 2022 Robert Phillips Regional Diversity Award and to join the past recipients who have been really walking the talk. So I want to say a special thanks to the award chair, Wendy Wilcox, and the planning committee uh, for selecting me. I do have... Uh, uh, one thing I want to say, I want to salute all those who've been uh, nominated for 2022. Uh, they've made a very incredible uh, contribution to the different facets in their communities, and I really want to thank them for really helping move the needle towards uh, uh, meaningful and transformative change in the DEA initiative. Uh, I would also like to thank those who nominated and supported my uh, nomination. Uh, I also want to thank my extended family uh, and friends at Washington County uh, uh, Equity Policy Group. Uh, I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, Ashley, Robin, thank you for everything you do. Keep keeping it 100%. Uh, also want to thank uh, Latricia and her team over Washington County, they've been making a lot of progress in this area. It's, uh, it's not easy. That's why very few people do it. So again, thank you very much. Um, and of course, I'll be remiss if I don't thank uh, my new family at City of Hillsborough. They welcomed me with both hands. I received a very warm uh, welcome, and um, they've been helping with the transition. Uh, it's been wonderful, so thank you very much, City of Hillsboro.
Another thing I want to say is that uh, ED work is not easy, but that does not mean we should stop trying. So we got to keep at it. Uh, one thing I know is that as we look at equality issues, we must really uh, take into account uh, the differences so that everybody has a chance uh, to succeed. So uh, I want to encourage everybody to kind of go beyond equality and bring all the differences. No one has monopoly of ideas. We can all contribute positively towards this endeavor. Uh, then I want to say it's always important to summon our collective uh, uh, and a trust and shared vision in order to have some principled engagement in this space. It takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of uh, labor of love, and it takes a lot of commitment. Uh, so we have to understand that everyone has their own story, and um, having that tapestry of stories coming together, we can always create it something uh, very interesting for our communities. Uh, finally, I want to say, uh, in this effort, we always have to learn to embrace uh, short-term wins and uh, lock those in in order to uh, not lose momentum. Uh, sometimes uh, we get into inertia, but uh, part of that is not embracing any small wins we win. Uh, we, we should always take those and keep uh, taking the baby steps moving forward. Uh, to conclude, I want to say that uh, I'm always guided by uh, two people in my life uh, who've been there, done this, and one of them is Martin Luther King. Uh, he once said, uh, you must take the first step in faith. You do not necessarily have to see the entire staircase, but just take that one step. And uh, the other one is uh, Winston Churchill. Uh, he said, uh, then once you take that step, create your own universe as you go along. And uh, want to, again, really uh, thank uh, Stuart. Uh, he added to my uh, knowledge in this space uh, with the three R's. Uh, so that's a big takeaway for me. And uh, the last thing he said, which is going to be my concluding uh, statement, is uh, uh, it, it takes ordinary people to do extraordinary things. So everybody can be uh, extraordinary, but you have to be ordinary to be able to do those extraordinary things. Thank you. Thank you, Joffrey. And congratulations. Uh, and on behalf of my friends at the city of Hillsboro, I would like to say that Washington County claims Joffrey as well. So, <laughs> but he and I go way back, so it's really exciting for me to see his growth and development and his success. So again, Joffrey Kahuya. <laughs>